So as you can see, this is a, a full reef tank. Uh, there's so many corals. The biggest challenge that we'll have today is to find positions for the new corals. So the filtration is relatively basic. We've got a, a NIOS skimmer. The drain lines feed into uh, pre-filters. Uh, a bit of a mess with uh, the power packs and such. Something we'll fix up one day. Uh, UV steriliser and a refugium, which uh, the light actually runs at uh, opposite times to the, the tank. The first coral we're going to glue in is a little Pacillopora. So we've positioned it where we want to put it. And uh, yep, so there's a bit of clean rock there. That'll work well. I'm not going to worry about the Majanos. It's an interesting piece, this one. It actually uh, grew in a customer's tank and the, the mother colony has been spawning and uh, little colonies of the Pacillopora have popped up all over the place. So given that Anya's put it on a, a disc already, it makes it quite easy. So I'm just gonna use a small dollop. Because there's good contact, don't need to use too much. I like the glue to sit up like that. That's the advantage of using a gel. It makes it, um, you get better contact when you've got a, a nice thick gel like so. And remembering where it was. Straight back in. Easy. The next one is this uh, Parades. It uh, really, to me, it looks like it's made for that spot. And uh, looks like it'll have pretty good contact right in the center there. Just want to make sure I get that exact position. So the contact was in this area here. I'll give this a little bit more glue. Uh, that'll do. Just move it around a little bit to ensure that there's a, a good hold. Bring it forwards. All right, perfect. The next one's gonna be the most difficult, I think. Um, it's this shelving piece, which the glue needs to be on the bottom of the far edge. And uh, it's not a particularly stable position, so I might have to hold this one for quite some time. of getting a good grip with the glue. So I want to get it in there as quickly as possible. Okay, so I can feel that the glue has actually made contact with the rock. where it's going to sit there so the glue can set. Okay. Well, if it stays there, I'll be happy with that. Uh, I think it goes quite nicely amongst those corals. 
Hopefully it doesn't get stung or sting anything. as possible. Perfect. Now what position was it? Alright, that's where I want it. Excellent. Okay, we'll put the next batch of corals in the tank and uh, then we'll glue them in. This little blue bonnie is going to go on what well, was a, a blasto colony, but uh, I think it's gonna actually go better without the disc. So I'll take that disc off. So hopefully I can get just underneath, being very careful. It. Just spread the glue. I'll put some new glue on. So this is going to take a little while to set enough that I can take my hands away. I oh know. Excellent. That'll be perfect there. I'm going to do the same thing with this gonny. I'm going to just take it off the disc. So it's really important with a small piece like this that we don't get too much glue uh, on the polyps itself. So just a really small amount with this one. When you press the coral down into the rock, sometimes the, the, the glue will sort of squeeze out the sides and, and hit the polyps. So that's why you use a small amount. And it's gonna go just in here. I'm also trying to make minimal contact with the, the tissue of the goni. Looks a little bit awkward, but once the uh, poles come out, it'll fucking feel pretty good. Here. So, uh, this is a Samacora and you can actually see the, the coral has uh, grown down over the, the cut edges and it's looking for another piece of rock onto which it can encrust. So uh, I'm gonna try and give it a position where it can encrust onto the rock and continue growing. Just needs a bit of glue. So hopefully it will be able to grow down onto the rock. It won't come around too far this way. Obviously you can see the hammer's gonna start hitting it, but uh, I think it's got a little uh, way it can go around the back as well. So that should do okay there. So this is our last coral that we're gonna glue in. It's a large green goni. Uh, this is one I was talking about with the, the long polyp extension. So I need to ensure that there's sufficient dif uh, distance between the chalice uh, and the other corals from the goni. I'm also hoping to be able to join these two rocks with the glue. So that's kind of the position I want. I'm gonna use a, a large amount of glue with this one so that I can join those rocks 
and ensure a good hold. All right. Nice tall dollop, almost like a soft serve ice cream. So that's perfect. That position's good. So I specifically like the Coralfix Pro. Uh, the Ecotech is also very good glue, but uh, the most important thing is you really want that nice thick glue so you can get that large uh, dollop that allows you to put corals in quite uh, difficult positions. But uh, definitely the coral fix is great. Okay, so now we've got all the corals glued in place. Um, we'll just uh, clean up a little bit. Uh, we'll put the, the glue away. Um, we'll make sure it's well sealed so that it's good for next time we want to use it. Um, I think all the corals are going to do well in their positions, so uh, I think that's a job well done. So uh, thanks for watching guys and keep on reefing. So that's our video for today. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe as well. We'll be putting out videos every week showing a, a new tank with new products. There's going to be lots in all the videos. I'm Cam the Fish Guy and keep on reefing.